What is up guys? My name is Harry Rice and welcome back to the channel. Today is the first video in 25 days of Harry. Uh, I'm very excited to get into it. This is probably going to be one of the longer videos in 25 days of Harry this year. And I've decided to change things up a little bit. So last year, if you guys saw 25 days of Harry, I did it by sectioning off hockey, gaming, music, movies. Um, however, this year what I'm doing is I'm switching it up a bit. I'm going to have all the collection videos first. We get those out of the way, so then the rest of the month we can focus on everything else. All the videos that are actually creative and require kind of a script. Um, but as you guys can tell by today's, by the title of today's video, this is going to be the DVD collection. Uh, the DVD, Blu-ray, and VHS collection. Uh, I'm going to start off with the box sets, then I'm going to get into the rest of the movies alphabetically. Um, so yeah, here we go. I'm gonna, we're gonna begin. So yeah, the box sets. First off, we've got the Alien Quadrilogy. This is a fantastic, uh, box set. I haven't checked out any of the Alien movies, but just the amount of stuff that is, that is on this box set. Like, you see, it opens, opens some more, keeps, keeps on opening, and this, this thing does not stop. This thing is a nine disc set this thing is is nine discs of 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 alien and and aliens alien 3 and alien resurrection resurrection no not alien resurrection alien yeah alien resurrection this thing is is eight discs technically of the movies um, and, and the bonus features, uh, there's a bonus disc just for features. The fact I got this for $2 is, is a miracle. I got it for $2 at a yard sale. Um, just another reason why you, why you check out yard sales and garage sales and flea markets and all that. You find some great stuff. Um, but yeah, $2, this, this thing is, is amazing. This is a beautiful box set. Absolutely amazing. Uh, next up we've got the... Barbershop DVD collector set. I still haven't checked these out. It opens up. You get the Barbershop movies. I was actually, I was actually thinking of pulling these out of here, putting these with the regular collection, and then just putting the, the box set like the the, the box set as is like separately. But meh. Uh, I showed the I showed all of these off last year. By the way, um, it comes with a Beauty Shop DVD, uh, promotional DVD. So. And then it comes with a bunch of different hairstyles, which is, I guess, kind of cool. But, um, yeah. Now that Barbershop 3 is out, this DVD set is kind of, not irrelevant, it's kind of outdated, but, meh, I don't mind. Next up, we've got a, a, a set that isn't necessarily a box set, but it's, I consider it a box set. It is the Batman Legacy. It's listed as a DVD box set, even, I think. I forgot, I thought it was, but, uh. Yeah, the Batman Legacy, it's pretty much the four old school Batman movies. It's it's Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin. It's the four uh the four the four original era Batman movies, I like to say. Uh Batman eighty nine, Batman Returns, which I believe is ninety two. Batman Forever, which I believe is ninety five, and then Batman and Robin, which I believe is ninety seven. Ninety seven. Um, yeah, I got this because the casing looked kind of cool. I didn't own all the Batman movies, so it was cool to get rid of those off of my, my hard drive. So, yeah, that was nice. Uh, next up we've got the Born Classified Collection. This technically isn't a box set. It's just a collection of the movies. But, uh, but yeah, I, I, I just put that here because why not? It's got the little slip with the little dot of gum or whatever that is. I, uh, I, I think it's just super glue or something. But yeah, this is basically in like this is kind of digi book. This is what I hate about the collection. This is what I hate about a lot of box sets. It's that they include these, where you have to pull the disc out of this, and it's it's very very easy for the DVDs to scratch like this. But yeah, so DVDs included are uh, the Born Identity. Oh yeah, Barbershop and Barbershop Two are included in that one, and then I said the Batman Legacy. But basically included in this set is uh, the Born Identity, the Born Supremacy, the Born Ultimatum, I believe, right? If I can turn if i could turn there we go yeah so the born ultimatum uh, the born legacy and then it's got a slot for jason born born legacy of course with the uh, always always uh fucking amazing 
Edward Norton, and Jeremy Reiner's pretty cool too. And then it's got a slot for Jason Bourne, which, spoiler alert, I do have. Um, and then it's actually got, this is kind of cool, it's got a bonus disc for special features. I do like that. But yeah, putting them in a digi book like this, I, I don't like. I would have much rather preferred, you cheapen out on the artwork, you just give us a regular ass DVD set, personally. Uh, next up we've got The Dark Knight and the the actual movie Dark Knight and the this thing. I actually lost the, the main thing it came in, but uh, yeah, we've got the special features and the digital copy and then Batman on Mask, which I believe is just uh, bonus features. Um, I've checked out Batman, The Dark Knight. It's not that bad. I don't mind it. So, yeah. Uh, next up we've got the Elf, the giant ass Elf tin set which is kind of cool i got i've had this for 10 years now in on christmas day 2020 i will have had this for 10 years uh oh yeah the best way to spread christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear that's a, i really really like this this box set actually because it's as you turn it it's got all sorts of different things I, I really really like how how this box set is shaped there's there was other stuff in here but i forgot what what where it went there was i know there was like an elf stocking um christmas stocking i know there was something else but in here the main thing that's in here that I, besides the movie obviously are these these little christmas things i actually ended up using one but it's got these little uh christmas stickers to and from um which is pretty cool and then of course you got the dvd itself elf uh it's a two disc collector's edition um probably not the best dvd to get uh, of elf because I'm, ass I'm assuming there's a collector's edition of the Blu-ray. Or there's a Blu-ray collector's edition at this point. I'd assume there should be. But, uh, Elf. Really cool tin set. Really, really like it. Really big fan of that. Next up, we've got, uh, the only one that's actually numbered, uh, as far as I know. Uh, this one is pretty cool. It's the Evil Dead 2 limited edition DVD set. Um, yeah, Kiss Your Nerves Goodbye. This is a really, really good movie. Uh, I actually checked it out for the first time just last month, or two months ago in October. Um, but yeah, Evil Dead 2, this is a really, really fun movie. It's a limited edition set. I have, uh, th I don't know if you guys can see, uh, a little bit, 34,666 out of 50,000. Uh, so there were only 50,000 of these. I think I got this for like $3 at a yard sale. Probably, arguably some of the best $3 I ever spent. Uh, it's got a little pamphlet for Evil Dead Hail to the King, which uh, is a PlayStation video game. Uh, this fun, cool little uh, little postcard that also acts as your uh, chapter selection on the back there. That's pretty cool. Um, you've got this, which is really, really awesome, which is a, a full-on booklet. Oh, shit. Did I just show something I'm not supposed to on YouTube? I don't, th I don't think it includes what I think. Oh, okay, no, yeah, that was just, yeah. But, yeah, so it's basically a bunch of... Actually, I'm, I'm just going to look through this real quick. Uh, yeah, it's got, like, a bunch of pictures um, from the movies. See, like, there, there's one. Kids have fun having nightmares now. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but seriously, this this is it's a great, great box set. Um, it's a great book. I, I really need to look through it. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's really, really cool. Really interesting. Uh, and then... Weirdly enough, the actual DVD is not in a DVD. It's in a CD jewel case. But notice that. The little... Notice that, guys. The DVD logo on the sleeve. Um, but yeah. Which is really, really weird. Evil Dead 2 comes in a CD jewel case. And I'm assuming there was supposed to be something in there, but I, I don't know what it was. Is it listed? Uh, I don't think it, there was a video game trailer on, a uh, video game preview on here, which is pretty sick. Oh, yeah, there, uh, oh, theatrical, yeah. Uh, no, I don't think there was anything there. I think that was just there for some reason. Uh, but yeah, guys, so that's the Evil Dead 2 box set. That is honestly maybe the one I like the most out of all the box sets I own. Maybe the one I like the most. Uh, yeah, so actually, yeah, from here on, I'm just gonna put these right here. It's actually an yeah, Elf and Evil Dead, I'll put it here. Next up, we've got uh, the Fast and Furious, the franchise collection. The first two movies, how they did not know back in 05. Uh, basically, it lifts up, and firstly, you get a bonus disc, which is basically just a preview for uh, Tokyo Drift, which I think was just coming out at the time. Um, 
Yeah, and this box set basically, uh, if I can, if I can get these out, yeah, basically, unfortunately, I lost the stickers that said uh, like Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift now playing or something like that. Basically, you get Fast and Furious and Fat and Too Fast, Too Furious. Yeah, um, this is another set where I considered just taking the uh, just taking the movies out and putting them in, in the normal collection. It would work. The only thing is that would bug me is that it'd be like Fast and Furious, Too Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift, Fast and Furious. I was thinking of doing that, like putting all the movies in a franchise together. I'm really, I'm still not sure about that. Uh, I've not seen the Fast and Furious movies. Um, I've not seen any of them. Um, so yeah. Plus, they're all out of order, so if I wanted to watch them, I'd have to research, which I don't like doing. <laughs> no, I love researching for movies. It's just movies I'm interested in. Next up, we've got the Ghostbusters 1 and 2 uh, double feature gift set. Thankfully, this is not the 2016 Ghostbusters. This is uh, Ghostbusters 1 and 2. The only thing I don't like, they're, it, excuse me, they're in the thin little cases. Like I would have honestly taken one standard DVD-sized case... And then just put, like, squish squish the backs down onto one. I, I really don't care. But, um, but yeah, the, 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 the discs are maybe one of my favorite things on this box set. Because they're both stylized, hand-drawn logos. Which I really, really like. Really, really like that. It's, it's actually really cool. And then also included in this box set is a Stay Puff ad. Uh, no, but seriously, it's a movie... Graph book. It comes with a bunch of different uh, things regarding the the movie storyboards, filmographies for some of the actors at the time, uh, the original theatrical posters, which I absolutely uh, I loved loved seeing that as a kid. I, I loved knowing that someone else cared about posters as much as I did. But um, but yeah, Ghostbusters. I would really recommend this box set uh, unless. You're in a Walmart and you have a choice between this and the Evil Dead gift set that you little did you know was about to go completely out of stock. Um, and 10 years later, you can still find this in Walmart. Pick the Evil Dead up instead. <laughs> totally not going off of past experience. Um, yeah, next up we've got The Godfather, the, Corp the, the Coppola restoration. Not the Corpse restoration, the Coppola restoration. This was, I think, $6 at a yard sale. Um, I think the set was the one that came out in 09 or 2018, not 2018. Uh, I want to say this is, yeah, 2008. This is the gift set that I think, I think came out on the 40th anniversary of, no, 74. First one was 74, right? Let me, let me look at the DVD yet. So 72, no, so it would have been the 35th anniversary, 89. Yeah. So yeah, so this is the 35th anniversary edition pretty much. I do like it has a little, uh, autograph there it's obviously a faux autograph it's it's yeah um but basically it comes with obviously the first second and third godfather even though there's been a lot of rumors of a fourth godfather i really don't know how they would do that but it also comes with supplementals or supplements uh it's it's a bonus disc which i absolutely love it's it's a two disc uh yeah it's basically a two disc um thing 2001 archival uh, supplements and an all new 2008 supplements which is really really cool i do love that movies include uh extra content again the only complaint they're small little sleeves like that i do like what blu-rays are doing though i do like that blu-rays are headed more towards the just make them a fat blu-ray case and put all the discs in there it will waste much less plastic as well um, another one that does this, the greatest sports films of all time, Rocky, Raging Bull, Bull Durham, and Hoosers, or Hoosiers. Um, I don't know if I'd say these are the greatest sports films of all time. Back in, when the hell was this DVD put out? Uh, let me look at Rocky for, oh no, because yeah, it's going to say 2004. No, 2006. Uh, that would actually seem about right when this came out. Um, but if it was 2006, I don't even know if I'd say that's, that's the, these are, but yeah, you get Rocky. Raging Bull, Bull Durham, and Hoosiers. Um, some decent movies in here I've heard. Rocky I've heard is really, really good. I've not heard about Bull Durham or Ho or Hoosiers, but Raging Bull I've heard is also pretty solid. Uh, so yeah, there you go. You got three straight sets of movies with the small-ass small ass little discs, 
Which is the thing I don't like about box sets is that if I wanted to, for, for whatever reason, take these out, throw the box set away, and put these normally in the collection, they stand out with these small ass little spines that you look at that, yeah, that you have to look into, and it's like, is that is that Rocky? Like, what movie is that? You know, um, I don't I don't like that. Next up, we've got Gridiron Gang. This is the football tailgate pack, so it comes with a bonus six pack cooler, which I'm not gonna pull out because it's a pain in the ass to get back in there. Um, but yeah, there's the the movie itself. I've actually not looked at this DVD for like six years um but yeah basically um it's a movie about football and i don't know what <laughs> um i i really don't know what the plot of this movie is and i really don't care about it right now because i i want hockey movies <laughs> so yeah gridiron gang um Next up, we've got the Jamie Foxx Film Collection. This is uh, Ray, Miami Vice, The Kingdom, and Jarhead. Um, this is looks to be a pretty good looks to be a pretty good box set. Um, yeah, it's got three rated R, no, two rated R movies, a PG thirteen movie, and an uncut version of a movie. Um, so if I can pull these out, that would be great. So yeah, you see here, um, and this is another thing I really like about this box set. Firstly, that the discs keep fucking flying out. But for example, you get three discs of Ray, one of Miami Vice, two of The Kingdom, and two of Jarhead. I do love they give you the, uh, the extra, the extra special three disc edition of Ray in this box set. I do like that. And then the, the Kingdom and Jarhead do have two discs. Um... And then, unfortunately, the Kingdom or Miami Vice is only one disc. But um, but yeah, that is pretty cool. I, I do like that box set. I do want to check out some of the movies. I think Jamie Foxx can be a good actor. Next up, second to last, we got the Jurassic Park Adventure Pack. This is, of course, heavily outdated now that two or three more Jurassic Parks have come out since then. Uh, I was a stupid little shit back when I was like six and drew the names of the movies. It wasn't even The Lost World. I put Jurassic Park 2. But, um, but yeah, this, this pack I really, really like. I think I got this for free, actually. I, th I think I went to a, a flea, not a flea market, a yard sale. And the guy there, like, I, I forget, like, oh, I'm celebrating my birthday or something. He's like, oh, take, take it, take anything you want for free. And I took like two or three. It was this, a random PC game you're going to see in the video game collection. I think it was just a small little toy or something. I I, I knew like nah, I'm not gonna take advantage. You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab a few small things I like. You know, and this is this would probably be worth maybe three or four dollars if I were to sell it without the scribblings. With the scribblings, it goes up to about twenty. <laughs> no, but seriously, I, I love I love the the artwork on the spine here. This is how you make a digi pack work as well as this. This is how you make a digi pack work. You just you put the movies in here. You don't put them in a little stupid booklet. You you give them room to breathe. You give them room like this. And se thirdly, or secondly, whatever number I'm at, Lee, uh, <laughs> I love they give you the collector's edition DVDs. The ones that were released individually, I love that they put them in a pack like this and give you those ones. Um, I haven't seen any of these movies, like I said. The only thing I really remember is I think it's in The Lost World. Uh, is it in the Lost World? I think it's in the Lost World. The one where the T-Rex gets lost in New York City or whatever, or wherever he is. Um, yeah. I need to see draft. There's a lot of movies I haven't seen. There's a lot of movies I haven't seen. And last but not least, there's another fucking d d shitty little sleeves. Yeah. Um, but basically, the final box set before we get into the actual movies. Revenge of the Nerds, the Atomic Wedgie Collection. Uh, this is only the first three. Fourth one, for some reason, is not in here. Um, yeah, we got Revenge of the Nerds, the Panty Raid Edition. Uh, I mentioned this last year, and I'm going to keep mentioning it until someone gives me an answer. Uh, the, the DVD, it's the Panty Raid Edition. But on the DVD itself, it's the We've Got Bush Edition, for some reason. I don't know if they had to change it on the DVD for legal reasons. They can't say Bush on, on the actual DVD, but they can say it on the disc. Um... It's, it's weird. 
Uh, then we got Revenge of the Nerds 2, Nerds in Paradise. Um, yeah. And then you get Revenge of the Nerds 3, The Next Generation. And then the fourth one is Nerds in Love. Um, yeah. Um, basically, this was a dollar. <laughs> this was a dollar at a yard, at a pawn shop. I decided why not. I'll pick it up. And yeah, basically, they they made they made four Revenge of the Nerds movies in ten years. That is that is nuts. Uh, not as crazy as a Friday the Thirteenth movie coming out every year in the eighties, but still. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, I'm gonna get to the alphabetized. I'm yawning for no reason. I'm gonna get to the alph alphabetized movies now. There's gonna be a cut because I'm not gonna do this all in one night. But yeah, we're gonna get to the alphabetized actual movies themselves. I'll be right back with those. Yeah. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. I just finished the box sets. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get right into the regular DVDs because I have a ton of those. And I want to get I want to get this, uh, not over with, but I, I do want to get this done. So, first off, we've got 310 to Yuma. I haven't seen it. It's got Christian Bale. I'm a big fan of him. Uh, a four-film collection. It's Midnight Movie and three others, Contract Killers. I don't remember the other two. But yeah, uh, I don't, I don't, that's one of the DVDs my sister gave me. Uh, seven Unforgettable Short Films from Pixar, which is Nick Knack, For the Birds, Mike's New Car, Jack Jack Attack, One Man Band, uh, Lifted, and T Tokyo Mater, which, uh, is not bad. <laughs> Eight Mile, pretty decent movie, it's got Eminem. Uh, this one I'm really, really excited to have. It's an eight movie collection, star-studded dramas, it's All the Pretty Horses, a Love Song for Bobby Long, The Squid and the Whale, uh, Off the Map, Lords of Dogtown, Excess Baggage, Motorama, and Running with Scissors. Um, and some pretty big names in this collection. Uh, Matt Damon, John Travolta, Scarlett Johansson, uh, Jeff Jeff Daniels, uh, Jesse Eisenberg, Anna Paquin. Just naming the first three movies. This, for I think I got this for like $5. This is incredibly worth it, in my opinion. I'm going to start putting the movies down here. Uh, cause what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go through the letters or the numbers and the A's go put those away. I'm not sure what I'm going to do just yet. Uh, nine and Coraline, both really, really good movies. Coraline, uh, is one of the greatest animated movies of all time. In my opinion, next up, we've got 12 monkeys. Great movie as well. 12 rounds with John Cena, 12 rounds Two reloaded with Randy Orton. I've only seen the second one. Eh, it's not great. <laughs> 17 again with Zac Afron, the first Blu-ray of the collection. I got that for Christmas a few years back, about 10 years ago. Uh, 21, 25th Hour, great movie with Edward Norton. 28 Days Later, thank you, Rick Nelson. And 28 Weeks Later, which I accidentally got for Blu-ray uh, when I thought I needed this one, but I needed 28 Days Later. But uh, hey, I got them both on Blu-ray now, so if they ever make 28 Months Later, then I can get that. So... Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, we've got The 40-Year-Old Virgin. Not that bad. 51st Dates, big fan of Adam Sandler. 88 Miles with Don Cacino. 300 with Gerard Butler. 500 Days of Summer. Still need to check it out. DVD and Blu-ray. Got this last year, courtesy of one of my sisters. Thank you very much. I'm not going to say your name in case you don't want me to. Um, and then we've got 1408 and 2012. It's a bootleg case, but it's the actual disc. This one was given to me by my sister. Well, the disc, uh, I had the case already. Um, now getting into the A's. This one, I'm going to have to start reaching a little bit. We've got A Beautiful Mind. Uh, a Charlie Brown Christmas with this shitty little cover with, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's got a, yeah, there it is, a bunch of glitter on it. Um, I'm not a big fan of the cover, but yeah. And then we've got A Christmas Story. A Dangerous Mind, I got uh, a, danger, a Dangerous Man. I got this with my Blu-ray player. Um... Or I got that when I got my Blu-ray player. Uh, God, 2010, I want to say. So, 10 years ago. Uh, a film with me in it. Spoiler, that Blu-ray player did not survive past 2011. Uh, a Man Apart. Nightmare on Elm Street. Great movie. Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Freddy's Revenge. I'm trying to hold these at an angle to where you guys can see them. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 4. The Dream Warrior. Or The Dream Master. Still need to get 3, 5, 6, 7, and 8. I believe there are. I believe there's 8 Friday the uh, Nightmare on Elm Streets. Um, I might get the remake. I doubt it, though. About Schmidt, still need to check this one out. Uh, Accepted. It's got Justin Long. I might like it. Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Pretty funny. The Adjustment Bureau. Uh, it's Matt Damon. I might like it. 
Adventureland, I still need to check this out. It's got some great names. Jesse Eisenberg, Kristen Stewart, Bill Hader, Ryan Reynolds, Kristen Wiig. Great movie, I've heard. Uh, Against the Ropes with uh, Meg Ryan. I don't know why I own that. Fuck! We've got uh, Airplane, which for some reason the case just started to open, so I'm going to close that. But we've got Airplane, and I'm actually going to check. Is it this one? I don't know why I thought one of them was broken. But we've got Airplane and Airplane 2, the sequel. Very happy to own both of these on DVD. Uh, they were a dollar each. <laughs> I, I got a bunch of movies last year for Christmas, actually. Um, they were a dollar each. I actually picked them out. Mom and Dad were like, hey, you know what? We'll get you these, but if you want, we can just give you them for Christmas. They're like, yeah, sure, why not? I don't mind. Um, and so I technically got those 40 movies for Christmas. Pro te technically probably the biggest haul of Christmas, I think, I've ever had, technically. Alice in Wonderland 2007 edition and the 2010 version with Johnny Depp. Um... Alvin and the Chipmunks and Alvin and the Chipmunks the Squeakle. We're not going to talk about those movies. Um, the American. American Beauty. Fantastic movie. American Gangster. I still need to check it out. American Graffiti. Uh, still need to check it out. American Heist. American History X. Probably one of the greatest movies I've ever seen, I think. Um, so there's one shelf done, technically. We've got uh, American Pie. American Pie, a four film collection of American Pie, American Pie 2, American Wedding, and American Reunion. Um, I was never really a big fan of American Pie. I might do a video on, on it in the future. I might make a retrospective. I don't know yet. Um, I don't know. Maybe. I'll think about it. And then American Pie presents Bandcamp, the one I remember the most from my childhood. Um, I'm, trying not to, I'm trying not to stack this too high because I know it's going to fall over. Uh, alright, I'm gonna create a second stack. I'm gonna create a stack for each shelf. I think that works. Uh, American Psycho, another fantastic movie. Amityville 3D, and if I can pull it out, the uh, Amityville Horror Remake with Ryan Reynolds. I still don't see Ryan Reynolds on this guy, but I know it's him. Anger Management, Adam Sandler, Jack Nicholson, and Woody Harrelson are in this movie, and John Totoro. I should like it. I want to check this out, actually. I really should check it out. Uh, Art School Confidential. Uh, definitely want to check this one out. It's got John Malkovich. And I seem to like anything John Malkovich is in, at least that I've seen, of, of, his, uh, of his work so far. Really enjoy John Malkovich. Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me. And Austin Powers in Goldmember. Alright, so those are the numbers through the A's done. I think I'm just going to keep going. I think I'm going to keep going. And uh, we'll see how far we can get. I, I have to reach up because the bees, I have a lot of those. We've got the Babe, family double feature, Babe and Babe Pig in the City. I haven't seen either of those. Baby, baby, baby. Um, I picked this up just because it was a interesting title. Had an interesting premise. I thought, why not? Oh, shit. My apologies for hitting the mic. I thought, hey, why not? It's a rated R movie. It's available at the dollar store. Why not? I almost guarantee it's going to be shit. But then again, I got Don John at the dollar store, and that was a really good movie. But we'll get to that. Baby Driver on Blu-ray. I also own this on DVD, but I don't remember where I put the DVD. The Babysitters. Um, funny enough, Cynthia Nixon, who is on the back right there, kind of looks like Ellen Page. Makes me think Ellen Page was supposed to be in this movie, but she turned it down to probably take Juno. And arguably the right decision. I haven't seen The Babysitters, but I really want to. Uh, the Back to the Future trilogy, arguably the best trilogy in film history. Um, I still need to check out the third one. I've watched the first and second recently. Uh, they're great movies. They're they're all great movies. Um, yeah, Bad Boys and Bad Boys 2. I still need to get Bad Boys for Life if I want to complete the trilogy. I've not checked out the Bad Boys movies, but I do want to. I want to check them out. If I can pull out these movies, that would be amazing. There we go. We've got... Uh, Bad Lieutenant, Port of Call, New, or uh, New Orleans, and Bangkok Dangerous, a Nicolas Cage double feature right there. Um, uh, yeah, we got Barnyard, the original Party Animals, I think was the original subtitle, and Bartok the Magnificent. It's a sequel to Anastasia. Um, but Barnyard, that's a fun, decent movie, I guess. I enjoyed it as a kid. It was fun for what it was worth. Basic Instinct 2, I always remember this DVD co cover from my childhood. Never really watched it, though. And I don't know if I want to. Uh, 
it just seems like a bad movie. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's Sharon Stone, so I don't know how good you can really get with Sharon Stone, but... Batman 89, this is the Blu-ray, um, this is the Blu-ray that's in the style of, uh, the Digibook, that's what they're called. I love that it has a part of the script, the original script, uh, piece of the comic, uh, I think it's the movie comic, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, and then you got some behind the scenes stuff. I'm not a big fan of Batman 89. I, I like it, but it's not fantastic. It's, it's a fun movie. Then you got Batman Begins, the first of the three Nolan films. I already showed you The Dark Knight, as if you watched earlier. Uh, what I really like is it comes with this, this fun little... It's a three comics. It comes with three comics in there, along with a two-disc edition DVD, which I really, really like. Um, as you can tell there, it's just a little bit thicker. I think I got this at Giant Tiger, I think. I forget where I got this. Probably Giant Tiger. Um... Then we've got Batman Under the Red Hood. I got a few Batman DVDs, surprisingly. A few Batman DVDs. Uh, still need, still want to check that one out. I'm going to pull a couple of these down. We've got Be Cool, Be Kind, Rewind, B Movie, uh, Artie Lang's Beer League. Technically, this should be under the A's for Artie Lang's Beer League, but I thought, fuck it. Um, begin Again, I only picked this up because Haley Steinfeld's in it, um, and I really like Haley Steinfeld. So, Funny enough, I still haven't watched it, though. <laughs> I still haven't watched it. Um, pull down these movies. We've got the Beverly Hillbillies, the 93 movie. Big, oh, there we go. We're starting to get a little bit of, uh, we're starting to get a little, we're starting to, we're starting to get a little bit of non-glare. Big Lebowski, great movie. The Big Short, very underrated, I think. Great cast as well. C Christian Bale, Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling, and Brad Pitt. That's a fantastic cast. Bill and Ted's excellent double feature of Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey. Bill Ingvall, Here's Your Sign Live. Birdman or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance. This is a fantastic movie. Uh, love this movie. It's 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 one I definitely got to go back and, and rewatch. It's it's a great, great movie. Um, Black Hawk Down. This is a 3S Deluxe Edition. Uh, I think I got this for like $10. I thought it was a bargain. And I still haven't watched it. <laughs> I don't even know who's in this movie. Who is in this movie? Oh, Josh Hartnett. Ewan McGregor. Uh, Eric Bana. Tom Sizemore. That's a really bad cast. I mean, I, I don't mind Josh Hartnett, I think. I think that's the kid I just said. I, I, I don't know. Black Snake Moon, I definitely want to check this one out again. Uh, it's been a long time since I watched this. Samuel Jackson, Christina Ritchie, Justin Timberlake. God damn it, I keep hitting the mic. I'm really sorry for anyone that's watching this with the earphones. Uh, then we got the Blade Trilogy. Blade, Blade 2, and Blade Trinity. Um, those aren't some bad movies, I've heard. They're, I heard they're fun. Chris Christopherson's in them, so I, I might like them. Next up, we've got Blade Runner. This is the two-disc special edition of the final cut, which I've heard is actually arguably the worst cut, I think. No, I think the, th no, the theatrical is unanimously the worst cut. Then I think it's the final cut, and I think the director's cut. Or it's the editor's cut. It's something like that. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the one that people always say is the best, but I think I watched the final cut with my best friend when we checked out Blade Runner. At least I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that was the case. But Blade Runner, not bad. Blair Witch Project. I think I need to watch Blade Runner again before I really, like, give my full thoughts on it. Because, like, after the first watch, it was kind of meh. I, I kind of liked it, but, like, it was meh. I, I, I gotta watch it again, though, I think. I gotta, I gotta watch this again, and I gotta watch Blade Runner 2049. Uh, the Blair Witch Project, like I said, not bad, I've heard. Blind, the Blind Side, I picked this up from my mom. Blizzard, um, Blood Diamond, still gotta check this one out. It's Leonardo DiCaprio, I wanna check it out. And then we got Blue Collar Comedy Tour, the movie. Used to watch that all the time as a kid. Don't know why. Um, <laughs> don't know why. Uh, Blue's the Warmest Color, on this on Blu-ray. Have I not mentioned what Blu-ray is? Uh, well, you guys can see, if you're watching the video, you guys can see what Blu-rays are. And then Bob's Big Break and Monsters 3D. And Boogie Nights, which is a fantastic movie from, um, not Wes Anderson, Paul Thomas Anderson. Um, alright, I've got two stacks here. I'm in a bit of a predicament, guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I don't know if I just start stacking them up here on the shelf, or, or what, but, um, yeah. Uh, screw it. I'm gonna get through the bees, then I'm gonna pause, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the thing. I don't know. Yeah, fuck it.
Fuck it, we'll get through the bees. There's not many of them left. I'll, I'll actually move them right over here. So we've got Borat. Never seen it. I need to check this out and check out the sequel. Born to Race. Never heard of it. The Boy Next Door. My mom picked this up, and I'm sure she regrets it. Bratz Kids Sleepover Adventure. The Breakfast Club. Fantastic movie. Really, really good movie. Brokeback Mountain. For a movie about gay cowboys, it's actually about bi cowboys, and they're pretty, pretty, pretty damn good movie, actually. Uh, Brooklyn Rules. Again, I apologize for hitting the mic. I'm going to try and back it up a little bit, but I don't think I can. Bruce Almighty. Kind of funny. Uh, Bruno. Still need to check this one out. Bubba Hotep. Very underrated horror comedy. Great movie with, uh, Bruce Campbell and Ozzy Davis. The Buddy Holly story. Gary Busey does a great job of playing Buddy Holly. Pretty solid. Bulletproof Monk with Sean William Scott. The only reason I really picked this one up. Bumblebee. Yes, I got this for $10. I thought it was a steal, and it kind of is. For a Blu-ray DVD digital copy combo pack. Pretty solid movie. I really like it. Burn After Reading. One of the best Coen Brothers films I think I've seen. Arguably the best, I think. I think I've rewatched this one the most out of the Coen Brothers films, and I really, really enjoy it. And then uh, The Butterfly Effect. Ashton Kutcher. Um, not bad. Not that bad of a movie. I kind of like it. Uh, so yeah, guys. I think I'm going to take a, a small little pause. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting up. I'm going to take a small pause. I'm going to put these away, and then I'm going to get come back and do the C's. Through the J's, or what I have on my desk right here. And then eventually I'll get to the L's through the Z's for the end of this video. <laughs> so, I'll be right back. Alright, and we're back. Uh, I decided to grab the K's through the M's as well. We're gonna get through this. Uh, the K's through the N's. We're gonna get through this. I promise, you guys. Uh, I'm gonna grab the first small little stack of DVDs. Um... And yeah, I'm going to try and rush through this a little bit. We got Caddyshack. I've never seen it. Cadillac Man. Cafe. Uh, Capote. Still need to check this out. Carlito's Way. Still need to check this out. Cars. Not that bad. Cars 2. Very bad. Cars 2 Meters Tall Tales. This is not that bad. Casino Royale. I have never seen it. Uh, Alright. Thank you. Alright. I'm trying to grab like stackfuls of, of DVDs just so I don't have to like reach over like too, too much. Uh, Castaway with Tom Hanks. Catch Me If You Can with Tom Hanks and Leonardo DiCaprio. Pretty solid movie. I've seen it twice. Catfish. Really interesting documentary. Even if some of it is uh, made up for the film, it's still not bad. Cats and Dogs, The Revenge of Kitty Galore. I don't know why I bought this when I was a kid. The Changeling. Or Changeling. Uh, it's not that bad. I still need, I need to rewatch it. Charlie's Angels and Charlie's Angels Full Throttle. Don't ask why I bought those. Uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, uh, I bought it for the five limited edition trading cards, and they didn't come back. Or they weren't in there. So yeah. Charlotte's Web 2, Wilbur's Great Adventure, I bought this because I used to watch the shit out of this DVD as a kid. As a matter of fact, that disc art is iconic to me. Uh, I love it. Charm, want to check it out. It's a dark comedy. Really love it. Or really love those. Uh, Cheaper by the Dozen. Christine. And uh, Christmas Carol the Movie. Somehow they got Simon Cowell, Kate Winslet, and Nicolas Cage for that. Uh, Christine, I do want to check out because it's one of my dad's favorite movies. So, yeah. He's not dead. I just, I want to watch it. <laughs> uh, Christmas Shoes and the Christmas Blessing. I don't know why we have these. Christmas with the Cranks. Chronicle. Clerks. Or Clerks. Clerks 2. Clerks the Animated Series. I've never seen either. I've never seen Clerks. Yet somehow I own all the movies and the TV show. Um... Funny enough, I got the movie free uh, because I, I bought this and I thought, oh cool, it's the big case version of the first movie. But then we got to the house and the guy was, I, I saw it, I was like, oh cool, it's the animated series instead. I was like, okay, cool, fine, I'm fine with that. And he was like, you're expecting the movie? I was like, yeah, to be honest, I kind of was. And he handed to me, I was like, here you go. I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, take it, take it. So, yeah, I took it. <laughs> Click. Pretty solid movie. I quite like this one. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Cloverfield. Um, I really like Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I think the animation style is incredibly unique. Um, Cloverfield, I don't know about. Collateral, I want to check this one out. And The Comedian. Uh, very big cast for kind of a low movie. Robert De Niro, Leslie Main, Danny DeVito, uh, Charles Charles Gronin, and uh, Harvey, Ke Harvey Keitel. Or Harvey Keitel. I forgot how to say his name a lot of the time. Uh, I'm trying to grab the last stack of C's, but they seem to be stuck in my computer. There we go. So we've got... Commando, um, the the condemned with Stone Cold Steve Austin and Vinnie Jones, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, Drew Barrymore, George Clooney, and Sam Rockwell. Definitely want to check this one out. 
Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen, another one I got for free. Constantine, Coraline, as previously mentioned, one of the best animated movies I've ever seen personally. Love the animation style, the how dark it is. Great movie. Uh, Crank 2, High Voltage. Um, yeah, if any of you guys know the Crank movies, then you'll know how batshit insane they get. And uh, I kind of like that. I got this for like $2. Uh, Crazy Beautiful, Chris and Dunce. I have to check it out eventually. Crazy Heart, pretty solid movie. I quite like it. And then Crazy Stupid Love with Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling, Julianne Moore, Emma Stone, Mia, uh, Marissa Tomei, Kevin Bacon, and the guy who plays the Zodiac in Zodiac. They don't explicitly say it's him, but it's him. Come on. Um, I'm going to grab the first stack of these nuts. Um, the Hip Hop Witch. I don't know why I own this. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I don't know why I own this. Uh, Dallas Buyers Club. Daredevil. This is the director's cut. Uh, Dark Knight Rises. I do own all three Dark Knight movies now. Um, I do want to get a regular DVD or Blu-ray copy of Dark Knight so I can... Maybe put them all together. I might do that. I might start putting all the trilogies together, despite wherever they, despite wherever some of them go alphabetically. I'm not sure. This is one I don't know where to categorize. Date movie and epic movie. I categorize. I categorize it under date movie because it's that's the first one. That's the one on the left. That's the first one. Date movie, epic movie. Um. Yeah, I I kind of regret getting this two pack just because it is hard to categorize it. I think I'd much rather try and get them individually eventually. Um, once I have, like, some spare money and I see them, it's like, oh, alright, I'll throw ten cents at getting these. Uh, Dave Chappelle's Block Party. Very interesting. Apparently a pretty decently rare DVD. I wanted to check it out for a while. Dawn of the Dead 2004. I was incredibly happy when I saw this at the pawn shop I, fre I used to frequent, frequent all the time. Um, that disc art is another one that is absolutely iconic to me. Love that disc art. And even the case. I absolutely love... Especially the slipcase. Like, the slipcase... I always loved the Dawn of the Dead 2004 slipcase. And that's a pretty damn good movie. I quite like that. It's it's a really good zombie movie. Much better than than, uh, than I was expecting. Uh, the Day. The Day After Tomorrow. Uh, the Dead Poet Society. Uh, the Deadpool. Uh, Death to Smoochie. Very, very underrated movie. Really, really like this. It's, it's more of a dark comedy... Um, it's Edward Norton, Robin Williams, and Danny DeVito. I believe Danny DeVito directed this. Yes, he did. This is a fantastic movie. It is, it is really damn funny. Really, really funny. Uh, then we got Deck of the Halls, another Danny DeVito movie, and Deja Vu with uh, Denzel Washington and... What's her name? No, that's not the guy. No, I, I don't know who I was thinking of. I'm actually going to start to put these into two rows. Funny, I separated them at Dawn of the Dead. Uh, now I can start just pulling them. Demolition. It's Jake Gyllenhaal. I had to pick it up. Uh, the Departed. Not that great of a... Uh, not, I don't want to say not that great of a movie. I need to rewatch it. I was very distracted the first time I watched it. Uh, I had family over. They kept distracting me, so... I gotta rewatch it. And then Deuce Bigelow, European Gigolo. The Devil's Own with Brad Pitt. I had to, I had to pick it up. Um, I believe that's Diabolical. Sharon Stone... I mean, it's got Kathy Bates, so it can't be that bad, but I don't know. I mean, Kathy Bates can save a movie sometimes. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules. Dickie Roberts, former child star. Then we've got Die Hard, pretty solid movie. Die Hard 2, I haven't seen. And Die Hard 3, which I also haven't seen. Uh, these are the special editions, which I kind of like. Uh, because they're, they're, I actually really like them. They're packed full of special features. The fact that I got these for a dollar each... Um, it's pretty sick. Uh, that, that should not be legal. I get that much for $3. That, that should not be legal. Um, well, prostitution is illegal. Uh, <laughs> Dirty Rotten Scoundrels is another one I got with the Die Hard movies. I got, these, these are the, when I say I got these for a dollar, um, pretty much when I'm talking about them, it's either the pawn shop, if I specify, or it's Christmas last year. District 9, which is a interesting movie from what I've heard. I've heard it's very overrated, but I kind of want to check it out. It seems decent. Um, yeah, District 9. Disturbia. Django Unchained. Fantastic movie. Of course, it's it's Quentin Tarantino. He doesn't know how to make a bad movie. Um, and then I'll, I'll actually just pull the rest of the Ds over here. Uh, we're getting through these much easier than I expected. I'm very happy about that. Dogma. Need to check it out. Don John. Very underrated movie. Probably one of my favorites. 
Um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Scarlett Johansson, Julianne Moore, you can't go wrong there. Uh, Donnie Darko, it's Jake Gyllenhaal and Drew Barrymore, I gotta check it out eventually. Donkey Sh uh, Christmas Spectacular, I got this 10 years ago on Christmas Day. Oh, the memories. Double Jeopardy, for some reason there's two copies in here. Dr. Doolittle, um, I don't, I don't mind Eddie Murphy, I might want to check it out eventually. Then we get into my small little Dr. Seuss collection, we've got Dr. Seuss Horton Hears a Who, Dr. Seuss Horton Hears a Who, Dr. Seuss How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Dr. Seuss How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Dr. Seuss the Cat in the Hat. I don't have the Lorax, the Lorax yet, but um, I do want to get it. I do want to get it eventually. Uh, Dragnet, this is Dan Aykroyd, Tom Hanks, I want to check it out eventually. Drill Bit Taylor, I remember checking this out when it came out on uh, DVR, or a uh, PVR, uh, or pay-per-view I should say. Uh, I, my sister bought this for me on pay-per-view, and I kind of liked it. I kind of enjoyed it. It was fun. And then the second Harold and Kumar movie came on because it glitched out, and it showed that, and I kind of had fun. Dude, where's my car? This is a decent movie, from what I remember. I mean, it's very, very dated. 20 years. I mean, it's, it came out in 2000, so. Dukes of Hazard. This is the 2005 one. Uh, rest in peace, Burt Reynolds. You That should not be your most recognized movie. Um, we're going to get into the E's and the F's, and then I think I'm going to go put these away. Actually, I might just get through the E's, Jesus. Uh, Eddie Murphy Raw, still need to check this out. This and Delirious, I need to check out. The Edge of Seventeen, probably one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, great, great movie. Uh, Ed TV, Edward Scissorhands, it's Renona Ryder and Johnny Depp, of course I gotta check it out. Uh, Electra with, uh, Jennifer Garner, I believe this is the sequel to Daredevil. Or the, the spin-off of uh, Daredevil when they don't want to call it a sequel because they're scared it won't make money. Uh, Empire State, A Toronto Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, another fantastic movie. Great movie. Uh, Evan Almighty, Everybody's Hero. Yeah, we're coming right up on the end of the E's, baby. Yep, alright, right here. Right here's the end of the E's, I think. Uh, Evil Dead is the remake. Not a big fan of this one. Not a big fan of this one. If I had to rank the four Evil Deads... Uh, this would probably be last. Um, I didn't care for this one. I mean, the actress who plays Mia is pretty good, uh, Jane Levy. But aside from that, the only thing I liked was uh, the ending. And I don't mean that in a sarcastic sense. The literal end of the movie, at, after the credits, that's my that's my favorite part. If you guys have seen the Evil Dead remake, you you know why. You will know why if you've seen the full movie. Like, you, you didn't just stop when the credits say you watched after the credits, you'll know. Um, The Exorcist, this is the extended director's cut. I've still not seen The Exorcist. Um, I keep telling myself every year, yeah, I'll check it out. I'll check it out at Christmas, at Christmas time. Yeah, it's a Christmas movie. Uh, let's just run with that. But uh, I never end up doing it, so yeah. And then we've got Exorcist 4, the beginning, which I'm still not sure if this is a legitimate DVD copy. It's two discs. I'm not sure if it's legitimate and the case is just burned or if it's just a really good knockoff. Then we got Stanley Kubrick's Eyes Wide Open. Um, or is it's just on the spine, Eyes Wide Open. That's why I have it under the E's. Um, but yeah, those are the D's and the E's. I think I probably do have enough space to get through the F's. Ah, uh, you know what's screw it. We'll get through the F's. I'll go put these away and then we'll get through everything else. So why not? I'll, I'll move the F's over here. Why not? Um, so first off, we've got... Uh, Face of an Angel, it was Cara Delevingne, I had to pick it up. Or it is Cara Delevingne, I had to pick it up. We got a 10 movies, family favorites. Um, for $5, I had to pick it up. It's got John Goodman, uh, Steve Martin, that terrible Bill Cosby ghost movie. Burt Reynolds, more John Goodman. I had to pick it up. And then Family Guy presents Stewie Griffin, The Untold Story. Surprisingly, I, I was really surprised when I opened the slipcover and I saw this was the cover. Because uh, I was expecting this to be the actual cover as well but uh surprisingly it was not uh then we've got fantastic four and fantastic four rise of the silver surfer i don't know if anyone else's copies are like this but they look identical in english there's no rise of the silver surfer subtitle on this one but you'll see there's a there's a french subtitle for rise of the silver surfer that's very weird uh, i remember watching the first fantastic four a lot as a kid i never watched the second one uh, then we've got Fantastic Mr. Fox. Pretty solid movie. I really like it. It's a good... I forget if it is stop motion or, or if it's CG that's looking like uh, stop motion. I'm pretty sure it is stop motion. It's Wes Anderson. He probably did it stop motion. Just like with Isle of Dogs, which is another really good movie. Then we've got Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Fast and Furious. 
and Fast and Furious 6. That's that's what I meant when I told you guys I would have the rest of the Fast and Furiouses together. I probably I probably should do that eventually. Uh, first Bueller's Day Off, pretty solid. I I quite enjoy it. Uh, Fido, which I need to check it out. I need to check it out. It's, it's apparently a pretty decent, uh, pretty funny uh, zombie comedy. Final Destination 1, 2, 3, and 4. With rumors of there being a 6th one or a remake of some sort, I do want to get the 5th one just to complete my collection for the time being. Uh, yeah, Fight Club, fantastic movie. Edward Norton, Brad Pitt. It's How can you not like that? Uh, fight, uh, First Blood with, uh, Sylvester Stallone. Flushed Away, great, great animated movie in my opinion. Uh, very, very underrated. And the rest of these I'm gonna try and put on my lap, cause I'm gonna have to put these over here. Um, yeah, we've got Focus with Will Smith and Margot Robbie. Uh, it's Margot Robbie, ha I have to check it out eventually. Free Fire, I picked this up cause Brie Larson's in it. It was only $6 as well, and I thought DVD, Blu-ray, and digital copy... Why not? I'll check it out eventually. The Forgotten. Any of you guys who've watched uh, Hey Watch Your Mouth's stream uh, like two or three years ago, you guys will know why I picked this up. I got it for the meme of that stream. And uh, if you donate, I believe it's $100 to Nick or 99 something like that, you'll get a face from the trailer of that movie. And you'll know why. Don't do it, but I'm just saying. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. For Your Eyes Only. Four Brothers. Uh, oh, shit. Nope. Yep, that's good. Four Brothers. Oh, fuck. Yeah, these are starting to slide. I gotta rush. Four Christmases. I bought this with a snow globe. I don't remember where the snow globe went. Fracture. Anthony Hopkins, Ryan Gosling. It seems decent. Freaky Friday remake with Lindsay Lohan and a bunch of other people that I don't know. Fred the Movie. Fred Two Night Living Fred. We're, we're just gonna skip past those and act like I don't own those. Freddy vs. Jason. Friday 13th Part 5, A New Beginning. Uh, front runners. I've heard it's pretty decent. Frosty the Snowman, and Funny People, very underrated Adam Sandler movie. Honestly, might be one of my favorites of his. That's a really solid movie. I really like Friend, uh, Funny People. So yeah, I got through four, technically three stacks of DVDs. Um, I'm gonna go put these away, and I'll be right back, coming at you with some G's through ends, unless I decide to be insane and pull out the rest of my collection. And we're back! So I ended up grabbing some of the, uh, all the way to the S's. Oh no, sorry, all the way to the T's. Um, so I'm clearly trying to record this all in one day because I'm a maniac. Um, I'm gonna get right into it and some behind the scenes. The power actually went out as I was recording this the first time. The G section. The G's through the eyes. I went out through the eyes. So I'm gonna try and get through this as quick as I can because I don't want the power to go out and I don't want to lose all my progress again. G-Force. Gangs New York, I want to check it out. Leonardo DiCaprio, Daniel Day-Lewis, Cameron Diaz. Seems like an interesting movie. Uh, Garfield Gets Real. I remember having another Garfield movie, but I don't remember which one. Uh, George A. Romero's Diary of the Dead and Land of the Dead. Really like the theatrical cut cover, even though the uncut is obviously the better way to go, I think. Um, I do like the theatrical cut version, uh, the theatrical cover more. George Carlin, Life is Worth Losing. George Carlin, Playing With Your Head. George Carlin, probably the greatest stand-up comedian ever. Uh, 50 Cent, Get Rich or Die Trying. Ghost, Ghost Town. I feel like I had another ghost movie. I forgot what, though. Uh, Gimme Shelter, Girl Fight, Girl Interrupted. Probably one of the greatest movies I've seen, at least of this year, for sure. Well, um, uh, plus, Renona Ryder's in it. It's just a really solid movie. Um, definitely underrated, so please check it out. The Girl Next Door. Uh, Goal 2, Living the Dream. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Gone Girl, arguably one of the most disturbing movies I think I've ever seen. It, it really freaks me out, this movie. Uh, Goodfellas, really great movie. Goodwill Hunting, pretty solid. Goon, Last of the Enforcers. Um, I still need to check out the first Goon, um, but I bought it because it was like $5, $6, and I was like, eh, why not? It's probably never going to be this cheap again. The Goonies, pretty good movie. The Graduate. Gran Torino, still need to check it out. Gremlins, still need to check it out. Green Miles still need to check it out. Graduate, I also need to check out. Uh, and now I'm going to pull over the rest of the pile here. Uh, Grindhouse, Death Proof, and Grindhouse Planet Terror. Uh, both of these are two disc special editions. I really, really like that. Um, again, Death Proof. It's Tarantino. He doesn't make a bad movie. Uh, this was released together as Grindhouse back in 2007. Really, really happy they released the Blu-ray. I think three years later in 2010 that has all the special, all the trailers made for Grindhouse. I really want to get the Blu-ray eventually if it weren't so freaking expensive now. Uh, Groundhog Day, really funny comedy. 
The Grudge. I still need to check that one out and get the sequels. Uh, uh, Gulliver's Travels. Hail Caesar. Uh, I bought this because it's a Coen Brothers movie. Um, and it's got a fantastic cast. George uh, George Clooney, Josh Josh Brolin, Ralph Fiennes, Jonah Hill, Scarlett Johansson, Til Franz McDormand, Tilda Swinton, and Channing Tatum. That's that's a fantastic cast. For a Coen Brothers movie, they always get an ensemble cast. Uh, Halloween, I finally checked it out this year. It's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's not that great. The Hangover, The Hangover Part 2, The Hangover Part 3. I honestly don't know why we own these movies. Um, I never really cared for The Hangover movies. Hannah Montana, Miley Cyrus, Best of Both Worlds concert. We're going to move right past as if I don't own it. Hannibal Rising. Happy Feet. Uh, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. I still need to pick up 2 and 3. And I've heard rumors about a 4th. Uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Philosopher's Stone. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince with reflective thingy. I don't remember what these are called. Lenticular slipcase things. Uh, I've seen all the Harry Potters. Uh, my favorite are probably the first two. I do like the third one as well because that's the one I remember the most from my childhood. Uh, I really like Deathly Hollows as well. Um, my least favorite is definitely Goblet of Fire though. I don't like Goblet of Fire. Uh, the Hateful Eight, it's another Tarantino movie, and what do you know, it's another great movie. Uh, Hate Ship, Love Ship, uh, I bought this one another, again, because it's Haley Steinfeld. Great movie. Pretty, uh, not great movie, it's, it's decent, it's interesting. Hellboy, and Hellboy 2, The Golden Army, I still need to pick up the one with David Harbour, and hope they make a third one of the originals. Uh, Hero Wanted, High Rise, shout out to Isles Girl 3 for Tom Hiddleston. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. I need to pick up the other five of those. Hop. Hot Fuzz. Hotel for Dogs. The House Bunny. Um, if you guys ever want to watch a movie that is not funny, but is kind of saved by Anna Faris and, Anna Faris and uh, Emma Stone, uh, that's the movie for you, I guess. I don't even know why I watched it one night. Uh, I knew it was going to be bad. How to Lose Friends and Alienate People. Very underrated. Pretty funny comedy to me. And uh, Hulk, another two-disc special edition. What I really like about this one, the Hulk special edition, is if you insert, it says insert this DVD, I don't. I, I think it means disc two though, into an Xbox console and play an entire level of the Hulk game. You guys can't see it, but you can see the Xbox logo. You can play an entire level of the Hulk video game. And back when I was a kid and I first saw this DVD, I thought it was so cool that you could play a video game from a DVD. I, I always thought that was really cool. Uh, it was a really novel concept for the time as well. Like, I You don't see that anymore. Mostly because the technology's kind of outlived the DVDs. Or the, the DVDs have outlived new consoles, but the new consoles are getting more powerful. Um, but I, I, I used to like back in the day. I know Hulk did it. I think a couple other movies did it. I think Spider-Man did it. One of the Spider-Mans, I forget. But uh, I think. I Am Wrath... Uh, I'm going to put that aside for a reason. I'm going to put that down right away. I love I Heart Huckabees. I Know Who Killed Me. I Love You, Philip Morris. I Robot. And I Saw the Ro I saw the Light. All movies I want to check out. Uh, I Know Who Killed Me mostly because it is... Um, it's not that great of a movie. And I want to make fun of it. Uh, I know YMS did a YMS and Friends on this. It's really great. Check it out, guys. Please. Please do that. Um, but yeah. Um... Th this is, it's just, it, it's weird. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> and you gotta, you gotta love these special features. Alternate opening, alternate ending. Those are, those are, those are common in DVDs of this variety. Uh, the horror genre, I should say. Blooper reel. Extended strip dance scene. So if you guys ever wanted that, that's well worth your free. Um, I didn't even pay for this. This, this is one of the DVDs given to me by my sister. When she just gave me her whole collection, she's like, fuck it, take it. <laughs> um, I, Tanya, damn good movie. Really, really enjoy this one. I Want a Dog for Christmas, Charlie Brown. I gotta go back and watch this. I always remembered liking it as a kid. I'll Always Know What You Did Last Summer. That's a weird movie. By this point, no one really knew where the series was going. Um, and for good reason. <laughs> Ice Age, Ice Age The Meltdown. I did have... Dawn of the Dinosaurs, but I don't know where it went. Uh, a Mammoth Christmas Special. Um, the Imagine, the Imaginarium of Doctor Panassus. Um, hey, Heath Ledger's last movie ever. Ju uh, Johnny Depp, Jude Law, the guy from uh, Harry Potter's in this. Colin Farrell's in this. 
Christopher Plummer. It's a pretty solid cast. Inception, Inception, really, really good movie. Leonardo DiCaprio, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Ellen Page, Tom Hardy, Michael Caine. It's it's really good. The Incredible Hulk. I personally really like The Incredible Hulk. I think Edward Norton did a pretty solid, solid enough job as as the Hulk, Bruce Banner, and Tim Roth is also pretty good in this. And then The Incredibles, which is a decent enough uh, Pixar movie, Disney Pixar movie. Indecent Proposal, this was $5, and then I immediately found an ad right after I got this that was this for a dollar. Um, so that sucks, but eh, whatever. Um, the Informant, Matt Damon, Inglorious Bastards. Probably my least favorite Tarantino movie, but I, I have to rewatch it. I definitely have to uh, rewatch this one, mostly just because uh, I think I wasn't in the right mood to watch it when I did. So, yeah. In Good Company, another one given to me by my sister, but Scarlett Johansson, so I definitely want to check it out. Inside Lionel Davis was a pretty interesting movie. Insomnia is a really underrated one. Al Pacino, Robin Williams, and Hilary Swank. Interview, it's got Steve Buscemi, so I definitely want to check it out. I really enjoy Steve Buscemi whenever he's in the movie. Uh, Iron Man, probably the best MCU movie, I think. The Italian Job, it's another Ed Edward Norton movie, so I definitely want to check it out. It's the Easter Beagle Charlie Brown, and it's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. Um, the Peanut Specials are always great ones. The Peanut, peanut Specials are great. Jackass the movie, Jackass number two, Jackass 2.5, and Jackass 3. I don't have 3.5. I'm waiting for the fourth. And I don't want to get Bad Grandpa because those ones are just bad. Th these ones I, just, I can still get some humor out of. Jackie Brown, the third movie by Tarantino, and it's a fantastic one. I, I might like this one more than Pulp Fiction, honestly. This one is a really, really, really good movie. I, I really like Jackie Brown. I think it's a... It's a it's a really really solid movie and a, a great great throwback to the seventies uh, black exploitation movies that of uh, like I said of the seventies. Um, Jamie Foxx straight from the foxhole. Jason Bourne, you guys probably saw that at the beginning of the video with the box sets. Jaws is the thirtieth anniversary edition, so it comes with the book. Jaws three, I still need to get two and four. Um, yeah, Jay Z fade to black. Um, a lot of people are involved in this for some reason. Jeremy or uh, Jerry Maguire, which I don't get why a lot of people were involved in this. Um, in November 2003, hip hop legend Jay Z threw what would become an, a legendary retirement party at the most important hip music venue in the nation, a sold out Madison Square Garden. And I don't get why, because he really didn't retire. If anything, he stayed retired for like two years. But um, but uh, but yeah, uh. Johnny English, uh, Jonas Live as we roll, um, Juno, which is a pretty solid movie, I quite like it, Juwan, this is the original grudge, I was really shocked when I found this at a, at a flea, at a pawn shop I frequented, I was scrolling, and I saw Juwan, I was like, oh shit, that's the original grudge, pulled it out, and was like, yep, opened it up, saw the disc was in, very, very, Solid enough condition. It's in decent enough condition. It'll still work. I just need to <sighs> rub it on my pants a couple times, like I typically do with movies that are like that. But um, yeah, like I said, I was really surprised to find Juwan, and for only a dollar, I had to pick it up. It was, I had to pick up Juwan, even if I'm never gonna watch it, cause it's too scary. <laughs> just for laughs, stand up volume one, Uptown Comics. It's got Dave Chappelle. I had to pick it up, and Just Friends, another one given to me by my sister. It's Ryan Reynolds. Um, I'm going to stop here because I don't want the power to go out and I don't want to lose this again. So I'm going to stop here and then I'm going to get through the rest of the DVDs. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm here. I have the technically the last stack of DVDs. It's the K's all the way to the Z's. Uh, yeah, I, I, I am going nuts. I, I am almost positive of that because of how, how I have these out. So. I want to get right into it. I want to get done with this. I want to edit it. I want to have my video for the 1st of December ready. Because as I'm recording this, it is four days away. And I need to get it done. So, let's go. Kangaroo Jack. <laughs> the Karate Kid. Um, Kill Bill, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Um, pretty pretty good movies. Tarantino. Kill Shot, the song Eminem named it after. Killer Elite, King Kong, and the King Kong Extended Deluxe Extended Edition, sorry. Um, interesting, ah, oh, damn it. Interesting um, movie. I want to check it out again. I've seen bits and pieces, not that much of it, though. 
Uh, next up, we've got The King of Comedy. The movie Joker was heavily inspired by. I definitely want to check it out. Uh, Knock Knock, a very weird movie with Keanu Reeves. Knockout with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Kong Return to the Jungle. Kramer vs. Kramer. Uh, I do want to check it out. Dustin Hoffman and uh, and um, Meryl Streep seems interesting. Krampus. Kung Fu Panda. Ladder 49. Larry the Cable Guy Health Inspector. The Last Run with Fred Savage and, for some reason, Amy Adams. I don't really know why Amy Adams is in this. Um, Law Abiding Citizen. Legend of the Bone Napper Dragon. I did have How to Train Your Dragon on DVD, but I don't remember where it went. Uh, Louis Black, Stark Raven Black. Larry, uh, Larry, Larry. Liar, Liar. Great Jim Carrey movie. Probably my favorite of his. Lilo and Stitch 2, Stitch Has a Glitch. The Line, Little Fuckers. Um, I don't know how they made three of the three movies based on the Meet the Parents. Apparently they're making a fourth. I don't like that. Little Nicky, Live from Austin, Texas, Dwight Yoakam, uh, Live Free or Die Hard, I don't know how they got Justin Long for this, or Timothy Oprunt, um, but it seems like the worst of the Die Hards that I own, Logan, damn good movie, really good movie, uh, The Longest Yard, The Lookout with Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Jeff Daniels, so of course I had to get it, and uh, Isla Fisher's also in it. Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, Two Towers, and Return of the King. Very happy I do own all three Lord of the Rings movies, even though I don't plan to watch them anytime soon. Eventually. Lost in Translation, really, really good movie. Lucky Number Slevin, and Lucy. I got this mostly because I've heard it. It's a really, really good movie. Uh, I mean, plus it's Scarlett Johansson and Morgan Freeman. You, you really can't go wrong with that, or at least I don't think so. Now I gotta get up because I gotta grab... I'm gonna grab... Uh, a good stack from the next, or a good pile from the next stack. We've got Machete with uh, Robert Rodriguez's Machete, I should say. Uh, really, really good cast. Danny Trejo, Steven Seagal, uh, Robert De Niro, Jessica Alba, Michelle Rodriguez. Well, not Michelle Rodriguez, but majority majority of a good cast. Uh, Madagascar, for some reason, the DVD is torn to shit. And I don't know why. Madagascar escaped to Africa. Or Madagascar 2 Escape Africa, as I like to call it. Made. Uh, Malcolm X. Manhunter, which I thought this was the cover. But then I took it off and revealed this was the cover. So I don't know if someone was trying to trick whoever bought this DVD into thinking, oh, it's a burned DVD, I don't want it. But I knew the games. And I didn't care if it was burned anyways. I just wanted Manhunter. Maniac, really, really underrated. Fantastic um fantastic horror movie great special effects this the special effects in this movie honestly might be the most realistic some of the most realistic special effects i've seen in a movie ever i think as of right now um and for for the budget that this was on it had to have been small the fact they made it look realistic as realistic as they did it's it's a testament to how how much passion if you put into a movie that you can make it look great man up with simon pegg and lake bell not too bad the Marine, which isn't a bootleg case, but it is an actual DVD, as given to me by my other sister. Um, but the case was not given to me. I bought a burned DVD case, and it's a legit movie, though. <laughs> the Marine 2, the Marine 3, and the Marine 5. I don't know why I own four of the six Marine movies. I don't know how they made six Marine movies, but they did. The Matrix, this is the one I was talking about earlier, with these very, very fat European Blu-ray cases. I don't know why they're like this. I won this in a giveaway. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. The Matrix. Um, I'll just put that down because why not? Then we got the Matrix 4 film collection. The Matrix Reloaded, Revolutions, and Animatrix. Mean Girls. Meet the Fuckers and Meet the Parents. Technically, I should put Parents before Fuckers, but the way it's alphabetized, I, I do the opposite. Meet the Robinsons, really, really underrated um, animated film. Really enjoy this movie. Megamind and Megamind the Button of Doom. These came together. I got these. I've had these now 10 years, I think. I know I saw Megamind in theaters, and I really enjoyed it. So um, I'll have to check it out again. Memento in a very, very cool special edition case. I got this at the same pawn shop that I got a lot of movies of. I'm not going to open it because it's a pain to put away, but it's really, really interesting. Men in Black 2. Um... 
I really enjoy this movie mostly because I remember back in the day trying to get the DVD ROM games to work on my on the Windows XP that we had, and it never did. Uh, the Menu Stare at Goats and Mary Madagascar. I remember I've actually owned this for 11 years now. I remember we bought this when we were moving into our at the time new house. Um, and I remember we got Harvey's and I, I forget if it was the day we bought this as well. They were like, yeah, buy, buy, buy June or something. Um, or if I had bought this previously, I forget which, which, which order it was, but we got this and we ended up getting Harvey's. We put this on and we ended up eating the Harvey's obviously. Cause that's what you do with Harvey's. You eat it. If you're from Canada, you know what Harvey's is. Americans might, but I highly doubt it. It's a fast food place. Order the Harvey's. And I remember I had a massive stomach ache for some reason. I still don't get why that happened. It's not like I ate like incredibly fast. I was actually taking my time because we were moving stuff as we were moving stuff as well. Um, but yeah, I, I always remember that for some reason. It's not traumatic. It's just for some reason, that's something I always remember about Mary Madagascar. Michael Clayton with uh, George Clooney, Tim Wilkinson, Tom Wilkinson, and uh, Tilda Swinton. Seems interesting. Million Dollar Baby. I might check it out eventually. Miracle. It's a hockey movie. I am very surprised they have a legitimate hockey movie aside from Goon. But Miracle is that. Mom and Dad. It's Nicolas Cage. You can't expect it to be. It's modern. Nicolas Cage. And from the director of Crank. Don't expect anything really amazing. Moneyball, the complete opposite of Mom and Dad, a really, really good movie. Um, I got this for Christmas last year, I want to say. Very, very happy I did because it's a pretty solid movie. Uh, Money Talks, Monster House, really, really underrated movie. Monster House is fantastic. Uh, Monsters vs. Aliens, Moonlight Mile, it's Jake Gyllenhaal, Dustin Hoffman, and Susan Sarandon. Definitely want to check it out. Mr. Brooks, this says Kevin Costner. I don't, uh, and it's Dane Cook as well. I don't know how good it can be. Mr. Bean's Holiday, incredibly, criminally underrated. Um, Mrs. Doubtfire, pretty funny. Uh, the Muppets, I still need to check out. It's Amy Adams and Jason Segal, so it shouldn't be that bad. I think it'll be pretty funny. I actually started it the other day with my best friend. Uh, I forgot something happened. It paused on her or something. We couldn't finish it, but it, it, it was fun from the few minutes we saw. Murder in the First. Murder on the Orient Express, Murder My Cousin Vinny, Murder My Girl and Murder My Girl, My Girl and My Girl 2. I think I still have it. Yeah, I still have my little Hulk sticker from when I bought this double feature at a pharmacy and ended up also getting a Hulk sticker. My Cousin Vinny I still need to check out though. I need to check out My, my Cousin Vinny. Never got traumatized by My Girl though. Never got traumatized by that. My Old Lady, The Naked Gun in the I Love the 80s collection, which is... Really, really interesting because it comes with a, if I can open it up, there we go, a soundtrack, music from the 80s. It's got four songs on there. The only one I know of is Take On Take On Me uh, by AHA, and uh, yeah, that's really cool. I do like the I Love the 80s DVDs came with, um, came with soundtracks like that. I forget how this one goes back in there. Oh, yeah, I think it's just... Yeah, yeah, it just slides in normally. But, um... But, yeah, I, I am a really, really big fan of movies that come with fun little things like that. Napoleon Dynamite, really, really funny. Much funnier than I expected it to be, honestly. I, I think it definitely is probably overhyped, but it's funny. It's, it's a really funny movie. Nasty Baby. I, I still don't know the plot of this, honestly. I think it's like a gay couple's trying to have a baby... So they, they get Kristen Wiig to be their surrogate. Um, I don't get why it's rated R, but I'll... I want to check it out eventually. It seems interesting. It's one of those kind of art house movies. I'm not a big fan of Kristen Wiig, but it looks interesting enough that I want to check it out. National Lampoon's Animal House, TV the Movie, and Van Wilder. Um, you can notice the de-evolution of comedy with these movies. Um, Natural Born Killers, which is a fantastic movie. Nor Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. It's Kat Dennings and Michael Sarah. I definitely want to check it out. Nightcrawler with Jake Gyllenhaal. This is a fantastic movie. One of one of my top 100 favorites, most likely. The Night Listener, Rob Williams and Tony Collette. It seems interesting. No Country for Old Men, fantastic movie. No Holds Barred, North by Northwest. Notebook, Notorious, and the number 23. There you go. Those are the last of the M's through N's. 
I'd get through the O's as well, but I, I want to stop again. I don't I want to stop just in case the power ends up going out. So I'm going to stop here. I'm going to reload it up and then we'll get right into the next one. So I'll be right back. And we're back again. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm here. I'm going to do the rest of the DVDs, uh, eventually. Uh, all right, let's, let's, uh, I'm going to pull down the first stack. I'm going to do these kind of stack by stack. I think once I get to the R's and whatnot, I'm just going to put them on the desk. And get them all out of the way right away. So we've got Oh Brother Rartel, pretty damn good movie. Uh, Observe and Report, I think it's underrated. It's a fun comedy. You, if you don't take it too seriously, it's pretty good. Ocean's Eleven, Ocean's Twelve, and Ocean's Thirteen. I still need to watch the Ocean's movies, uh, excluding Ocean's Eight because no. Uh, Octopussy, Office Space, Old School, The Omen remake from 2006, I believe. Yeah, 2006. Apparently Mia Farrow's in there, so, uh, yeah. Once Upon a Time in the West. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Probably my favorite Tarantino movie at the moment, I think. This movie is fantastic. I absolutely love Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Please check it out. One Hour Photo. Great, great movie. Massively underrated. Robin Williams is amazing in that movie. Open Season. Open Windows. Orange County. Uh, our brand is Crisis. My parents put, picked that up for me um, one day. I don't know what it is, but I want to check it out eventually. The Outsiders looks like a pretty good movie. Uh, Over Her Dead Body. I want to check it out. Paul Rudd, Lake Bell, Jason Biggs. Seems interesting. Over the Hedge. Pretty good movie. P2. Panic Room. Really good. Paper Town's pretty solid. I would have liked more Cara Delevingne, though. That was the main reason I did watch it. But it didn't end up being that bad. Paranormal Activity 3. Parental Guidance. Paul on Blu-ray, Al, Paul Blart Mall Cop, Paycheck, Pay It Forward with Kevin Spacey, The Peanuts Movie, which is, I, I think it's pretty fun. I think The Peanuts Movie is pretty fun. I enjoy it. Uh, the People vs. Larry Flynn, which is a really, really good movie. Really underrated. One of the best biopics I think I've seen. Perfect Score, it's Scarlett Johansson. I had to pick it up. Uh, the Perfect Stranger, or Perfect Stranger. The Phoenix Incident, it was only $2. I had to pick it up. The, the Pickup Artist, Molly Ringwald, Robert Downey Jr. Got to check it out eventually. The Pink Panther remake. The Pink Panther Strikes Again. Then we've got The Pirates Band of Misfits for only $5. Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy. Uh, I had to pick it up. And it's still sealed because I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. And the Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. The only two I think I want to get for now. Uh, Planet of the Apes, another two-disc special edition. I always love when DVDs come with that, like I mentioned earlier. The Polar Express, really, really good Christmas movie. I quite enjoy it. Precious Cargo, Predator, was really happy to find the special, or this special edition. It's two discs. It's it's a great, great collector's edition. I'm not going to open it up because it's a pain to put away, so even then I'm having a hard time. But I, I absolutely love, um, love the special edition. I've seen the features it has, and it's nuts. Once I watch Predator, I gotta look at the special features. Primal Fear, pretty solid movie. Pride, uh, actually, Pride, then Primal Fear is how it should go. The Prince and Me, Princess Diaries 2, we're gonna ignore those two. The Prodigies, uh, it's a French movie, I don't know why I own it. Uh, the Producers, it's Matthew Broderick and Uma Thurman, it should be pretty solid. Uh, Prom Night, Pulp Fiction, really, really good movie. Pumpkin, uh, Pursuit of Happiness, and the only Q movie I have, The Quiet, with Elijah Cuthburn. Elijah Cuth Cuthbert, Cuthbert, Cuthburn. I don't know how to say her name. Uh, if somehow for whatever reason she's watching this, I apologize. Uh, the Rage, Carrie Two. No one came back from the original movie. Actually, I think Amy Irving came back. I think Amy Irving. Uh, Raging Bull. I told you guys I had two copies of this, and uh, I do. Uh, Raising Arizona, it looks interesting. It's Nicolas Cage, could be fun. Rain Man, seems decent. Raise Your Voice, it's got Cat Dennings. I didn't realize that until like two years ago. Ratatouille, pretty solid uh, Pixar movie. I, I think it's kind of underrated, honestly. Uh, Ready to Rumble, it's a wrestling movie. I had to pick it up. Reality Bites, it's Renona Ryder. I'm going to like it. Rear Window, definitely got to check this one out. Red Eye. Rain Over Me, it's Adam Sandler in a dramatic role. Should like it. Reservoir Dogs, DVD and Blu-ray for the 15th anniversary. 
I think this might be Tarantino, one of Tarantino's best movies, personally. Uh, the Revenant, pretty solid movie. The Ring and The Ring 2, still sealed. Uh, what I like is, I always loved these early 2000 movies. Watch if you dare. They always had these big, bold messages back in like 2002, 2003 on DreamWorks DVDs when they came out. I miss that. Robocop and Robocop 2. Rocky, three straight MGM DVDs, and Rocky Horror Picture Show, which I need to check it out eventually. I've heard good things about it, and I've heard bad things. I've heard both. Uh, Rounders, which is a really, really good movie. Probably the only poker movie. Rubber, it's about a killer tire. It, it only gets better from there. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Run, Fat Boy, Run, with uh, Simon Pegg. He's the only reason I would check it out. The Rundown, with The Rock and Sean William Scott. Running Scared, Running with Scissors, another copy of that. Rush Hour 1, 2, and 3. Those are some decent movies I've heard. My One of my friends have, has told me that he really likes them and wants me to check them out. I will eventually. Russell Madness, another wrestling movie. RV. I watched it recently. It's not that bad. San Andreas, another two-disc edition. It really doesn't need to be two discs, though. Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. I was really happy to find this on DVD. It's... It's like that, um, it's like wrestling women versus the ta Aztec zombies or something like that. I, I want to get that DVD as well, but this, this one is a really, really interesting DVD. There's a lot of stuff on here. It's like over three hours. So, so yeah, I, I want to check that out. I might do a video on that eventually. Santa Claus 3, The Escape Clause, The Savages, which is a really solid movie from what I've heard. Then we've got Saw, Saw 2. Saw 4, Saw 4 Uncut, and Saw 5. That's right. I I was actually going to sell my French copy of Saw 4, but then I realized one day, for, for, I don't know how, but I realized, oh shit, that's the theatrical version of Saw, of Saw 4. I don't remember where I, I, I actually think I got that at that pawn shop, but yeah, I ended up getting Saw 4 theatrical somehow, so now I have the theatrical and the uncut version. Scarface, the accidental Plain Jane DVD version. I don't like that. I, I have this version. Um, but, meh, it's whatever. And then the Scarface Blu-ray, which I ended up getting. Uh, I actually got this. I or actually I was, I was going to get this because this didn't have all the special features. But then I got this instead of the special edition. So, yeah. Uh, but I do like the collector's edition label they have. Scary Movie. Scary Movie 2. Scary Movie 3. Scary Movie 4, and Scary Movie 5. I am happy I have all the scary movies, even though most of them are kind of crap, but meh, it's whatever. Schindler's List, gotta check it out. Scrat Pack, Scream, Scream 2, uh, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. I want to check it out. Ben Stiller is an interesting uh, actor, and he's an even more interesting director. Uh, Secrets of the Furious 5. And Screwed. It's Norm MacDonald, Dave Chappelle, and Danny DeVito. How can I not like it? It's at this point we're going to start putting movies on the desk. So uh, this next stack I'm going to pull down. There we go. Uh, we've got See No Evil. Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. Semi-Pro. Seven. Seven Pounds. Shadow Boxer. Seven, by the way, is a fantastic movie. Really, really good. One of my favorites. Shaun of the Dead is pretty good as well. Shawshank Redemption. I have never seen it. It's still sealed. The Shining, which I need to check out. Stephen King's The Shining, which is god awful. I've heard. Shoot 'em Up, which I've heard is actually pretty funny. Um, Shooter, which I've heard is decent. Shorts is interesting movie. Shrek Two, Shrek 3D, Shrek Forever After. Probably my favorite of the Shrek movies, honestly. Shutter Island, which is still sealed. I really need to check this one out. I need to check out Shutter Island. Uh, once we get past the S's, I'm actually going to pause. Yeah, I think I'm going to pause the, the video, and then I'm going to get into the last stack. Um, Sideways, The Simpsons Movie, Sin City, Sin City the Recut and Extended Edition, Sister Act 1 and 2, Sister Act 2 Back in the Habit, The Sixth Sense, The Sixth Sense. Um, the Skeleton Twins was not a great movie. Uh, Slapshot. Slapshot 2, Breaking the Ice. Slapshot 3, Junior League. Um, Sleepers, it's Brad Pitt. I had to check it out. Sleepover, I remember this movie from my childhood. 
I don't know what type of childhood I really had. Slumdog Millionaire. Smokey and the Bandit. The Seven Film Outlaw Collections. Smokey and the Bandit. Smokey and the Bandit 2. Part 3. Bandit Goes Country. Bandit Bandit. Beauty and the Bandit. And Bandit's Silver Angel. Um, yeah. Interesting. I don't know if Burt Reynolds returned for all of them. I think he did. I'm not sure, though. Um, Snatch. It's Brad Pitt. It's Vinnie Jones. Bencio Del Toro and uh, Jason Statham. It seems fun. Sneakers, I've heard is a pretty good movie. Snow Buddies, I got this from a grandmother. I am a grandfather. Uh, the Social Network is a really good movie. And The Soloist is a movie I got from my sister. And I haven't checked it out yet. I'm going to pause real quick because paranoia. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So we've got Spaceballs. Uh, really, really happy I was able to get the, the collector's edition. Because funny enough, the dude showed the regular edition of Spaceballs, the special edition of, of Scarface. I got the regular edition of Scarface and the special edition of, the special edition of Spaceballs. Speed, pretty interesting. It seems Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2.1, Spider-Man 3, and Spider-Man Homecoming. Then we've got Split. I got a lot of sealed DVDs in my collection. But yeah, Spider-Man Spider Homecoming is good. I enjoy the original Spider-Man trilogy for sure, though. They're, they're fun, silly movies. The SpongeBob SquarePants movie. The SpongeBob movie Sponge on the Run. I was really excited to get this. Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray DVD, and digital copy. $5 at Walmart. This was an absolute steal. Unfortunately, though, SpongeBob 1 does not have the movie inside, so I gotta rebuy that. Spy Kids 2, The Island of Lost Dreams. Spy Kids 3D, Game Over. Um, the Spy Who Loved Me, The Squeak Along, don't, I don't, I don't, let's just pretend I don't own that. Um, we've got St. Elmo's Fire, which I really, really want to check out. It's got a great cast. Uh, Stanley's Mutants, Monsters, and Marvels, Star Trek War, I believe The Voyage Home. Yep, The Voyage Home. Then we've got Star Trek, uh, Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, uh, State of Grace, and then we got the tease. There's something about Mary and Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. If you guys are wondering where the rest of the tees are, uh, they were stolen. I'm not going to say by who for legalities, but uh, they were stolen. So yeah, uh, and you guys might be wondering, oh, where's Suicide Squad? Where's a lot of the tees? Where's some of the U's? They were stolen. Uh, so yeah. Um, unfortunately, you guys are going to have to watch last year's video, as I also have to do, because i got to go back and see uh, what movies uh, I have to rebuy. Which is going to set me back a couple hundred dollars once I decide to buy them. Uh, and Steve Jobs was a movie I had, I just bought in as well. That is now gone. Um, Vantage Point. Vertigo. Uh, the View of Terror. The Villains of Spider-Man 3. The Virgin Suicides, which I was really happy to find this for a dollar. Really, really excited to check it out. It's Kirsten Dunst, Dan DeVito's in this, Josh Hartnett. Um, it looks like a really, really good movie. I definitely want to check it out. Volcano, I also picked this up for a dollar. Apparently it's a pretty rare DVD, so it was glad to find that. <clears throat> My voice is starting to go. My voice is starting to go, guys. Uh, Walk Hard, The Dewey Cox Story, John C. Riley. I didn't mind it. Walk the Line, not that great of a movie. Walking Phoenix and Reese Witherspoon are pretty solid in it, though. Walking Tall, I remember this movie from my childhood. Wall Street 2, Money Never Sleeps. Wanted, Warm Bodies. Wanted, I remember from my kid, from my childhood as well. Warrior, The Warriors. Watchmen, which I still need to check out. Wayne's World and Wayne's World 2, which I want to check out eventually. Uh, we Own the Night, which I want to check out. It's Joaquin Phoenix, Mark Wahlberg, Robert Duvall, and Eva Mendez. It looks decent. Wedding Crashers. It's Vince Vaughn, so I'm not really interested, but it's Christopher Walken and Owen Wilson, so I kind of want to see it. The Wedding Singer. It's Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. I want to check it out. Wes Craven's New Nightmare. What Happens in Vegas. And Whatever Works. Larry David is pretty funny. Yeah, my voice is starting to go a little bit, so I'm trying to rush this. And my apologies, guys. When a Stranger Calls, Whiplash, which is a fantastic movie, one of my favorites. Uh, White Chicks, White Men Can't Jump, Who Framed Roger Rabbit on Blu-ray, The Whole Nine and Ten Yards, The Wild Thornberrys movie. Um, ooh, yeah. All right, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to get through this, guys. My apologies. Uh, William Shakespeare's uh, Romeo and Juliet. Willy, uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Wilson, both pretty good movies. Wimbledon, I kind of want to check this out. It's Paul Bentley and Kirsten Dunst. Wind River, wasn't too bad. Wizards of Fortly Place, the movie. 
Wolf of Wall Street, fantastic Scorsese movie. Really, really good one. The Wolverine, pretty funny. Or, not, not pretty funny. Really good. Uh, Wolf of Wall Street has some funny moments, though. But Wolverine is really, really good. The Woman in the Fifth. Uh, World Trade Center was not great. The World's End was really, really funny. Really, really funny. I think I might like it more than Hot Fuzz, not more than Shaun of the Dead, though. Uh, the Wrestler, Mickey Rourke, and Wrong Turn 3. Left for Dead, we're into the final stack of DVDs, guys. I'm finally happy to be over with, pretty much. Um, so I can go work on other movies. Or, so I can go work, go work on other videos, and I don't, I don't have to be stressed about not having a video ready for December 1st. X-Men. X-Men 1 and a half. X -Men, X2, X-Men United. X-Men 3, The Last Stand. X-Men First Class. X-Men Origins Wolverine. That is my small little X-Men DVD collection. I still need to get Days of Future Past. Um, the other one, Apocalypse. And, yeah, if they come out with... And I need to get New Mutants. New Mutants and there's another one, I feel. I feel like there's another X-Men movie I gotta get after that. Uh, Triple X with Vin Diesel. Um, yeah. It's Triple X. Young Frankenstein. Need to check this out. Looks really funny. Yours, mine, and ours. Z for Zachariah. It's Margot Robbie. I enjoyed it. it. Wasn't really that great of a movie, though. Or at least I don't think it was. Zathura. Uh, I think it's Z Zathura, the new superhero adventures or something like that. Zombieland. Really, really funny movie. Zoolander. Kind of overrated. I didn't mind it, though. It was meh. And the final movie, Zoom! Academy for Superheroes. But wait! We're not done! Because those are just the DVDs. I still gotta go get my sports DVDs and my DVD game DVDs. I'll be right back with those. And then we can finally wrap up this video. Alright, I'm back with the DVDs. But firstly, I actually forgot. I have this one separate from the other ones. We have one final DVD box set. We've got Family Guy Blue Harvest. Um, I don't mind Family Guy. I do prefer the older seasons though. This is one I really, really do like. It comes with uh, trading cards, which is actually really cool. Trading cards, 3D glasses, obviously the DVD. comes with a shirt and a booklet, which is really, really cool. I, I have not opened any of this except the DVD, which was, I was stupid. But, um, but yeah, Family Guy Blue Harvest, that's pretty, pretty good box, pretty cool box set. I really like it. Now we're going to get into the rest of the DVDs. We got Tony Little's Gazette Freestyle. Two DVDs and Gazette Freestyle. Yeah, I don't I don't know why I have those. We've got the Brain Quest DVD game. Derby Day. Drastic Park Explorer. Shrek Bingo. Sudoku. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And last but not least, Would You Rather? All my DVD games. I don't know why I own these. And then the last few DVDs are the D, uh, sports DVDs. We got the 2008 US Open Duel for the Ages. Alex Kovalev, Mes Trucs et Mes Sens d'Entertainment. I don't know how to speak French. NHL All Access and NHL Mas NHL's Masked Men, The Last Line of Defense. UFC Best of 2009. And UFC, as real as it gets, an Ultimate 2-Pack. UFC 49, Unfinished Business. Unfinished Business. And UFC 50, The War of 04. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. That took... A long time. I think I've been recording the past two, two, three hours, something like that. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, it means a lot if you're here on the first day of 25 Days of Harry. If you guys are going to be here throughout the rest of it or you're watching this is the first video and you're like, nah, I'm done. I don't know why you're still watching, but thank you for watching all the way through. But, yeah, guys, uh, this is the start of collection week here on 25 Days of Harry. I do not I do not remember what tomorrow's video is supposed to be as I'm recording this, but I know it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share, lose bills not limited to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Instagram, Tumblr, and everything else. My name is Harry. Subscribe to the Puff Club. Subscribe to the Hasty Club. Subscribe to the Sub Hub. If you're a member of the Mod Squad, like my good boys, Hot Take Hockey, DDT Regulator. Uh, Isles Girl 3, Jesse is Dong if he's still a mod here, Raybro, the Raybro, Mc, McDry, Skinner, uh, all my all my great moderators, and anyone else who I might have missed, Rick Nelson, Rich J. Um, thank you all so much for modding the channel whenever I do live streams or whenever I have comments that I don't read right away. I'm sure one of, one of you guys checks the comments eventually. <laughs> 
But yeah, guys, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Links in the description on my Twitter, on my Twitch. My Twitter, I don't use all that much right now. Twitch, I kind of don't really like right now. Um, especially after learning about their affiliate program. That isn't all that great. Um, but yeah, there's that. Uh, my Discord is in the description. Uh, Discord pops off once in a while. I always post notifications whenever I go live on on stream or whenever I post a video, like is the case of 25 Days of Harry. My apologies to the Discord users. Um, but yeah, uh, there's that. Uh, also in the description is my Twitter, uh, not my Twitter, sorry, my speedrunning account. I do want to eventually get another working PS2 controller um, that works, like I said. Uh, mine finally broke like six, six months ago now. Mine broke last month, unfortunately. Um... Yeah, I, I should just probably go out and try and get a, a PS3 controller, a wired PS3 controller, something like that that works. I don't know what I'm going to do yet there. But I do want to eventually start to get back into speedrunning. If someone has beaten my UFC Undisputed 2010 record, that would definitely bump me up because that would definitely pump me up because I, I want that record. That record is mine. <laughs> no, but uh, also in the description is my PO Box, my Amazon wish list, and the PayPal. If you guys do want to donate to the PayPal, you will get your name on the Big ass dono board of donations in the next video post 25 days of Harry. And you'll also get it on the next stream just because typically I stream after I stream often ish. Um, and typically the streams aren't the best quality. So when it's behind me in the back, it doesn't, it isn't really all that noticeable. So I figure it's only fair to put you in the video as well. So if you guys want to donate, that is greatly appreciated. Um, ah, okay. There we go. Good enough. Um, but yeah, if you also want to send a package or a letter via the P.O. Box or the Amazon, which is, it's greatly appreciated. It's never asked for, neither are donations. But they are, of course, greatly appreciated. You will get a shout-out, and you will get a video of me unboxing uh, anything you might send me, except in the month of December. I finally remembered what my what I used last year, and I'm using it this year. Um, except in the month of December, like this year, if you guys do send me anything, whether it's a letter or package, whatever it is, I will save it on my desk or somewhere in my office. I will make sure not to lose it. And I will open it on a special Christmas edition of 25 Days of Harry live streams. Thankfully, though, we do not have to move this year for Christmas. So I will be able to stream using this webcam, even though it'll look very, very bad, I'm sure. But uh, I will be able to stream this year uh, for Christmas without uh, using a terrible webcam. It'll be this setup, pretty much. It'll be this setup. But yeah, guys, that is that is going to do it. Thank you all so much for watching. And of course, the final thing that is in my description is the letterbox. The letterbox, I typically rate and review movies there. Very rarely I'll actually review them. Most of the time, I just rate them. You can check it out if you want to know what movies I like, unless you'd rather wait for the video, uh, unless you'd rather watch the video I made for Christmas Day last year, which may or may not be in my top unfair movies of all time of 2019. Or if you want to wait till the end of 25 Days of Harry this year, you can watch the top unfair movies of all time of 2020. Uh, I also want to do a video on what movies I hate the most, which is which I'd be taking from Letterboxd, so you can check that out if you want. Might make a video on that in the future, I really don't know. I haven't really had any demand for it, but um, but yeah guys, thank you all so much for watching. I love every single one of you guys. My name is Harry Rice. Uh, I hope to see you on the channel again if you're a new subscriber. If you're an old one, then thank you for checking out the video. Oh my god, I got a lot of stuff to put away. I love you all so much. My name is Harry Rice. And I am out. Peace.